Hi, it's a pleasure to look at this animation of a ball bouncing. We have seen this before in the chapter on velocity and acceleration vectors, but this time we'll be looking at it from the point of view of momentum and what happens to it. So today's topic is to analyze a ball that's dropped from a height and to understand what is the situation on its momentum and what's the situation on change in momentum. So let's look at the vectors once again, the favorite uh, vectors. The mg is the weight of the ball acting downwards shown by a red arrow and the yellow arrow this time shows the momentum of the ball. Momentum is mass into velocity. It's a property of the mass and the velocity in this case is constantly increasing as the ball drops to the ground due to gravity. After it hits the ground, when the ball rebounds, the velocity vector points upwards, so there is a 180 degree change in the velocity vector, therefore a 180 degrees change in the momentum vector. By now, we understand that momentum is also a vector because it's a product of mass and velocity. Now, this is just a text on a screen and we have seen enough bouncing of the balls and this is just to remind ourselves that at the top when the ball is just being dropped there is no initial velocity which is zero so the initial ball momentum is zero. When it's going to hit the ground the final velocity at the point of impact comes into play and so the momentum at that point is again m into v where v is the final velocity. To get the v you could use the equations of motion. This has been described in the course and a chapter on using Newton's laws of motion. You can see on the screen and you might be familiar with it already. So all you need to know is g and you can solve the problem. You could know the height uh, from the problem so you can just plug in the height and use the same standard equations to get the final velocity at the point of impact. The moment you have the velocity you have the mass and just multiply to get the momentum. Now having seen what is the momentum let's look at what's the change in momentum. This is important. So you saw the ball dropping and rising to just half its height it did not come back to the hands of that robot. So which means that the velocity at which the ball rebounded left the ground upwards is less than the velocity at which it fell on the ground at the point of collision. So this is the coefficient of restitution. So the velocity ratio of the return velocity is half the velocity of the approach velocity in this particular example. So if we consider the coefficient of restitution as 0.5 just for the sake of being familiar with that then the change in momentum becomes the initial momentum minus the final momentum of course when we say initial momentum we mean just before impact so that is mv where v is the final velocity at the time of impact and what's the final momentum it is the momentum as the ball leaves the ground upwards which is minus half mv because v is half. So the minus sign here comes in as you know since the velocity vector got reversed upwards. So it's mv minus of minus half mv which becomes mv plus half mv which is one and a half mv. So what you notice here is that there is a significant change in momentum when a ball rebounds from a solid ground. This will be useful later on when you study kinetics of gases. The overall momentum is of course conserved. Momentum of ball plus momentum of floor will be constant. We now look at a second case where the momentum of a ball is looked at in a case where the coefficient of restitution is 1. 
which means that the ball rebounds perfectly to the same height at which it was thrown. So if the robot threw the ball from 10 meters height, we have a situation where the ball rebounds back to his hands exactly at 10 meters. So it's the, uh, the velocity at which it leaves the ground is same as the velocity at which it hits the ground. So this is a case which happens with gas molecules. So anyway, the change in momentum is initial minus final as usual. And you get mv minus of minus mv, which is 2mv for the ball. This is a animation to show how it would look like to have coefficient of restitution equal to 1. This uh, beautiful ball is dropped on a basketball court from a particular height and it jumps back to the same height from which it was dropped. So if this is the case with gas molecules, you will get a change of momentum of 2 mv. This is all that there is to understand about momentum of a ball dropped from a height and what happens to the change in momentum. And I hope uh, this was useful to you and that you feel more confident now to handle this particular chapter. Thank you and have a great day.